Hello everyone, Mrs. Talbot here in the Joe K. Bryant Art Studio to show you how to make a really cool op art project. It's really simple, but it looks really neat. You're gonna need a pencil, a piece of paper, and something to color with. Um, I'm limiting myself to three markers just to make it a little bit more simple. I like how markers are nice and thick and they'll help me complete the project quickly but you can use whatever you have, crayons, colored pencils, even paint. All right, let's get started. Okay, you're gonna lay one hand on your piece of paper and we're gonna trace around it with your pencil. All right, there we go. So now, we're going to choose one of our colors and we're going to do a straight line across the bottom of our paper. But we're going to stop when we get to that wrist. All right. So here's the part that makes the hand look like it's popping out in 3D. So when you get to the wrist, you're going to go up and down just gonna make a nice gentle curve. And that kind of sets us up for the rest of the picture. So we're gonna do another line right above that one. When we get to the wrist, we're gonna go up and over. I'm gonna kind of fill in that gap that I left and straight across. And I'm gonna switch to my next marker. And we'll start back at the first color. I think it's kind of nice having a little bit of a, a color scheme going on here. All right, you're just gonna keep going. And I will come back to you whenever we get to the fingers because that's going to be a little bit trickier. All right, friends, uh, pause your video until you get to about this point, and then I will show you how to do the fingers. Once you're at this point, Just need to, you're going to need to pay attention to where the hand is because we have to go straight across in between the fingers and we need to curve on the fingers. So you can kind of see this starting to happen with the thumb. Well, our curve is also getting more gentle here. Of a tricky spot, isn't it? See how I'm bumping each finger? bump on the thumb. All 
right, and you're just gonna keep going. If this gap down here is bothering you, you can go ahead and fill it in with one of your other colors. Ooh, or maybe two of our other colors. All right, so we're gonna keep going until we get to the top. All right, and I'm back. Um, pause your video until you make it all the way to the top. I don't know about you, but this has been a really relaxing coloring experience for me. Now, you're more than welcome to leave your picture like this. I think it looks really cool this way. If you'd like to add a little bit more definition to the edges, you could go in with your pencil and you could darken up that line that goes around your hand. And you could even add a little bit of shading if you scribble a little bit lightly with your pencil around the outside of your hand it kind of gives it a little bit of a, a shadow kind of gives it more of that 3d look so i'm just doing a little a little bit of a scribble with my pencil lightly kind of give our hand a little bit of a halo around it And that kind of gives it just like a little bit more definition. Kind of looks like it's been shaded a little bit. Thanks for drawing with me today. I can't wait to see what you create.